Alright, good day. Um, in this tutorial, what we're going to do in the next coming tutorial videos, we shall be going through an entire exam question paper. You can see in the top uh, right hand corner here, we've got the EC September 2019 grade 12 um, mock exam. And we'll be going through this paper accordingly from section the entire section B all the way from question 2 till the end of the uh, exam script. Okay, so question 2 reads that a block of mass m kilograms is placed on a rough horizontal surface. The block of mass m kilograms is connected to a 12 kilogram block by means of a light inextensible string passing over a light frictionless pulley as shown below. A force of 88 newtons is applied at an angle theta to the horizontal to keep the 12 kilogram mass moving downwards at a constant velocity in capital letters. And we have a very nice diagram there. And so first tip is prepare yourself for a definition question. At the start of almost any section in section B, there shall be a definition question asking you to define a certain law that exists, um, especially in mechanics that exists within mechanics or that exists in physics. So 2.1 of this paper, they ask us to define or state Newton's first law of motion in words. And that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so um, you can just uh, write question two on this one. A body will remain in a state of rest or motion with a constant velocity unless a non-zero resultant force acts on it. Uh, another definition that we can also do, another way rather that we can define Newton's first law of motion is of course to define it as a object will continue in a state of rest or uniform velocity unless it is acted upon by an unbalanced force. So either one of those definitions would have granted you two marks for that definition. Okay, let's check out the next question. 2.2, uh, which we see over there, um, says, draw a labeled free body diagram for the block of mass M. So that's for this block of here. Ah. Sorry, my mouse jumped. Okay, there we go. So for that block mass over there, let's draw a free body diagram. So of course your free body diagram, um, as it is taught mostly, and definitely how I was taught, is always your um, oversized period or dot with on the horizontal surface. So we know there is weight or force of gravity. So either one you can FG or you can say, wait, please pick one. Do not write both. And of course, on top here, we have the normal force, which is Fn. All right. And then looking at the block system, we do see that there's a presence of a string and it looks like it's going in this direct, uh, that direction. So tension is definitely present to the right for block mass of M, T, tension. And of course, you know, we know that we have our applied force at a certain angle here, which we can just name FA for force applied. And of course, we have the bit of a smaller force, which is friction present to the left, of course, as well, opposing the motion. And that is your free body diagram. And that was worth five marks, one mark for each um, arrow or direction of force. Moving to the next one, it says, before we get to 2.3, they give us some more information saying that a constant frictional force of 32 Newtons acts on block M. 2.3 says calculate the magnitude of the angle theta that will keep the system moving at a constant velocity. Okay, so how do we start this question? Of course, we first start this question by looking at the formula for Newton's second law, which is F net is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, now we know that acceleration is equal to zero, all right, because of the fact 
that the system or these blocks are moving at constant velocity all right meaning that we have the presence of just if net is equal to zero and then what do we do we know if net is the resultant force or this, which happens to be a res as a result of the sum of all the forces all right so for the 12 kilogram uh, block we can write it down here we can start our question and say well for the 12 kg mass block okay first we want to find out um, the forces all acting on the 12 kg mass block if we have to draw a free body diagram for it just a small one just to show you we have the presence of W going down and the presence of tension going up so we have if net is equal to zero which we have W minus tension because tension is going upwards while gravity is going downwards so tension is going the opposite so we're choosing downwards as our positive direction here that is all equal to zero we know this is mass times gravity all right the formula for weight for w is equal to mass times gravity so we have 12 times 9 comma 8 minus t equals 0 and if we solve for that we have 12 times 9 comma 8 and we take tension over to the other side to make it positive we'll have the answer of t is equal to 117,6 newtons if you round it up to one decimal place then for the mkg mass in other words we the unknown mass block okay so we just draw a line here and perform this similar calculation okay so the forces we have here is tension which is positive in this direction all right minus okay we have the horizontal force which we need to work out because we're dealing with only horizontal forces here because it's on a horizontal for, um, surface which we have f cos of theta okay and that is to get this force over here at right? the moment we have it at an angle but we need to work out this applied force in terms of its horizontal as everything here associated here is horizontal of course minus uh, friction uh, is equal to mass times times acceleration of course they said they are moving at a constant velocity making all right making this all equal to zero now what do we have we have a value for tension so we substitute that in at 117 comma 6 all right minus the force was 88 cos of theta we are unsure of what that is yet all right and minus friction which we had got to be 32 it was given to us that's all equal to zero okay so we're going to end up with um 32 minus uh okay let me just do it over here i might as well just do it i'll end up with 117 comma 6 minus 32 is going to um equal um 88 cos of theta and divide both sides by 88 to cancel each other out okay now what we do we just slip this into our calculator and we add second function cos and we slip this into our calculator to get what the angle is equal to so i'm going to come over here just in a different color so therefore if we second function cos this whole thing so it'll look like this on your calculator cos to the minus one brackets we in will enter this entire number over here and we should get what the angle is equal to roughly 13 comma four one degrees all right 13 comma four one degrees is the value of our angle theta We're almost finished with this question. Um, 2.4 says the coefficients of kinetic friction between block mass m and the surfaces 0, 12. Calculate mass m of the block. I'm going to keep it this color 2.4. We use our uh, kinetic friction formula Fk is equal to mu k times normal force. 
All right. We have a value for kinetic friction. It is 32 for the unknown mass block. And that is equal to the coefficient, which is 0, 1, 1, 12, times the normal force. All right. Now, we are uncertain of what that normal force is. All right. But we can find a value for it. If we divide both sides by 0, 1, 12, Right, we'll get the value of the normal force to equal 266,67 newtons. Okay, now we know that the normal force when there is an angle, a force applied at an angle to an object that's on a horizontal surface, we know that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity minus the vertical component of that object which is equal to mass times gravity minus F sine of theta. Remember, we had an applied force going this way of 88. We worked out the horizontal force here, which was, um, let's just go back and have a look, 100 and, uh, sorry, this was the value of 88 cos theta. So if we had to work that out, 88 cos of 13,4, one we'd get the value of fx all right and of course we're coming down here we have fy okay so that's what we're doing here so we end up with um 266,67 which is the value of the normal force is equal to uh mass which is unknown multiplied by 9 comma 8 minus 88 sine of 13,41 degrees, okay? We solve for that equation. In other words, we take this all the way to the other side. Well, I'm sure you mat matrix grade 12 know how to solve an equation by now. So I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase that therefore uh, the mass of the unknown block is 29 comma, uh, just round it up, 29 kilograms. That's the value of the unknown mass. And then we have one final question before we end off this question, question two. How will the coefficient of kinetic friction be affected if the angle theta increases? Choose from increase, decrease, or remains the same. All right, by now we should understand that the coefficient of, of kinetic friction only changes if the surface on which the object is placed changes so it is angle does not affect the coefficient of kinetic friction meaning that this definitely does um, remains the same okay that wraps up wraps up question two 17 marks stay tuned for the next tutorial we'll go through question three